Hello everyone. Welcome back to knowledge sharing series using Raspberry Pi, Node-RED and IoT. In this session, we are going to discuss about how we can fetch the email from the particular inbox using Node-RED and Raspberry Pi. In continuation with the previous video of sending email using Node-RED, now in this video, we are going to fetch the email using Node-RED. So friends, let's take a node of email which reads the particular inbox. So if you check the email node, the very first node which is useful to read the email from the inbox. Now let's check the property of this. In the property we have lot of option but we are supposed to check two or three option which are more important and that is the very first one is the get email. Now if you check the drop down then we are having the two option one is called the automatically and the second one is when triggered. Right now we are going with the automatically. In automatically it will ask me to repeat the same procedure at a particular second. So here a 300 second is mentioned. You can modify it as per your need. Second one is the protocol IMAP or POP3 protocol. You can select any of this as per your choice and as it is synchronized with the Google. So you, you need to specify the IMAP.gmail or and the port number which is provided by the Google itself. Now after this the user ID. Here I am using the user ID Node-RED002. That is the one from where I am reading the email and the password which was created in the app specific password. So friends don't forget to mention that password only. Now it is asking me which folder to read. So here I am specifying the inbox. Now then, what happens when the email is coming to my inbox and when my node is reading, what to do with that particular email? So I am considering it as a mark read. So as soon as the node will fetch the email, it will be considered as a mark read email. Then after that, I am having something called the criteria, which email to read? Do I need to read all the email or do I need to answer the email or flagged or seen or something like that I am considering all email as of now. And let's say I am giving a name of reading email and click on the done. After that take the particular debug node. Debug node will fetch the data from this particular inbox and send it or show us onto the debug area. Now. Uh, before you go and check the things, double click on the debug node and here it is showing that message.payload, complete message object and the J expression. Select complete message object as of now. We can change the properties and then you can deploy it. So as it is showing connect error. So friends, please check your uh, user ID and password. I am going to modify it as per the correction. Now click on the done and you can deploy it. If everything is perfect, all the email address and passwords are perfect and if you click on the deploy, it will try to read the mail from your inbox and as it is showing that it is fetching and yes on the debug window you can see that the email has been fetched. There are two emails. If you click on this particular thing, you can see all the details that is the test, the topic name is the test, that is nothing but your particular uh, email subject and the details are also given in this particular email. I have not written anything in that mail, I will show you that email also. Here also you can see that it is and payload is the first new test, that is the content of my particular email and the topic is new test. Now as and when new email is coming to your inbox that will be appear in this window. As we have only two email in a particular inbox, let me show you that you can see here two email only. Now I am sending an email from other email to particular node red 002. You can see the email will appear here in a few seconds. Till the time, let's clear all the messages in the debug window so that whenever it fetches the new email, we come to know 
that what is the thing see here it is live testing email right as soon as it will fetch it may take a uh, 300 seconds but without changing any parameter just modify the position and click on the deploy so on that moment it will fetch all the emails you can see there are three emails over here and the last one is here that is uh, dear friends uh, I'm, I'm going to show you each and everything that's why I have uh, expanded the window the first one is the payload where it is written dear friend this is live testing using node red and raspberry pi thank you now as soon as the email will be fetched you can see here in the inbox itself dear friends this is live testing and all the detail is in the context of the email that is what the actual email that is your payload the topic here is live testing email and the topic is nothing but the subject of your email fine friend i hope it is quite clear the rest of the thing is the date and header and all that that we are going to see in some advanced email options later on so let me recall once again we are reading the email from the email address called node red 002 this is the uh, email address of node red 002 you can see that from here also it is node red 002 gmail and we are reading that message and showing it into the debug window fine if you want to store the messages into a particular text file somewhere then there is an option you can search for the file tab there are two file nodes available here the first one is write a message dot payload to a file and the other one is uh, reads the contents of a file as either a string or binary buffer so we are not going with the second one we need to go with the first one which is going to write the message put it in between this double click the properties provide the appropriate path of your file at the same time make sure that the file is already exist if file does not exist you create the file at this particular path and then only you can store the emails into this particular text file then the options we have is the append to file overwrite the file delete the file whatever is your choice uh, you know very well what do you mean by overwrite and append and all that fine uh, add new line to each payload each and every time whenever the payload will receive it will add the new line after the payload sentence then create directory if it does not exist if you are not sure about this particular thing or about this particular path you can select this create directory if it is does not exist then encoding is default if you are not sure about what kind of encoding is there let it be default and you can uh, give the name of a storing email fine and uh, after that you deploy it now whatever emails you are reading will first go to this file and then it is coming to you in this particular window so friends now if you want to see the text file go to the uh, particular path in the raspberry pi uh, directory structure and you open the particular text file using any of the text editor or GUI editor. I hope it is quite clear. After watching both the videos on email, it is quite clear to send an email and to read an email from the inbox. Subscribe the channel to get the regular updates on knowledge series. Thank you.